All right, let's get this started. So uh, welcome to today's workshop. It's 12 proven ways to supercharge your dispensary website to increase order size and drive more sales. So today's workshop, it's it's a first in, the series, uh, in a series of webinars that we're gonna be offering. Uh, in the future, we'll be drilling down on SEO strategies, loyalty programs, SMS marketing, and other topics as well. So uh, next month, actually December 19th, we co-host our next webinar, and that's gonna be on data capturing, uh, segmentation, compliance, and also SMS. That'll be with our co-host, Springbig. Uh, so if there's any topics you'd like us to cover, you can put it in the chat, or feel free to reach out to us, send an email to info at foottraffic.co, or to myself directly, jeremy at foottraffic.co. So today, we're gonna show you how you can turn your website into a top ranking site that's basically a 24 seven revenue generating machine. Our hosts for today, myself, Jeremy Cawson, and also Guillermo Bravo, who's our CEO. Uh, I focus on strategic accounts and partnerships and Guillermo is the founder and CEO of uh, Foot Traffic. And our co-host, Ross Lipson, who's joining us and he's the co-founder and CEO of Dutchie. Uh, Dutchie's e-commerce solution recently just hit the 500 dispensary mark across 25 different states. So he'll be sharing more about uh, e-commerce strategies in this workshop, uh, and he's got some some great insights for sure. Many people, many of the dispensary owners and marketers, they don't actually have a website yet. Most do, but there's a very significant portion that don't. Um, if you don't have a website, what are you relying on instead? Uh, would that be a Facebook page or uh, Leafly or Weed Maps? Now, whether you don't have a website or your website simply is not just isn't driving enough revenue for your dispensary. Uh, you're in the right place. Um, you know that online marketing and an optimized website are critical factors for business success. Uh, and you're ready to drive more revenue in new ways. But maybe you don't know how to get more customers to buy more products from your website uh, and in your stores. So what, what we're going to do, what we can help you understand is how to get more qualified website traffic that will be enticed to buy products from you, both online and in your store. We talk to a lot of dispensary owners. We work with a lot of dispensary owners and marketers. It's a challenge to do everything. So we get it. In today's workshop, you're going to learn these strategies that you can implement yourself, or we could do it for you. You know, we work along, as I mentioned, we work along dispensary owners on a daily basis. Uh, we know running the business can be one of the most challenging things around. Uh, we're also here to help and offer our expertise to really give you the edge that will help you get ahead of your competition. So a little bit on foot traffic. We're the number one digital marketing agency for dispensaries. Our entire focus is to drive web and foot traffic that converts to sales. We're uh, a full service digital marketing agency. So we also offer a full suite of software applications and services for search engine optimization, also called you know, SEO, Google AdWords, uh, advertising, geo advertising, online reviews, reputation management, uh, content marketing, SMS, SMS marketing, and other tactics as well. So we currently work with more than 100 clients across North America, uh, both on the West Coast, East Coast, and, uh, and even in the Midwest. Our focus, as I mentioned, it's helping dispensary owners increase foot traffic to their stores uh, and traffic to their websites. And we've been doing this for over three years. So we also, you know, we help clients who are launching their first store to helping large multi-state franchise brands scale their marketing effectively across all sorts of uh, locations and stores. Now, what is your biggest marketing challenge? Are you on the first page of Google? Maybe you don't have an online menu or it's not working the way it should for you. Or your website doesn't show up uh, very well on iPhones. These are all very, very common challenges. So we had an aha moment uh, at Foot Traffic. We're not actually a web development company. Our focus has always been tactical, specifically on driving high converting web and foot traffic. But as I say, you know, you can't put lipstick on a pig. And if a client's website's not conversion focused or it's not, uh, it's not user friendly, it doesn't really matter how much traffic that you drive your site or we drive your site, you're losing a lot of potential customers uh, and leaving thousands of dollars on the table. So what we did is we actually came up with a solution uh, to either educate dispensary owners and marketers how to fix or improve their websites themselves or provide them with an affordable website solution designed from the ground up that's actually optimized for search, optimized for mobile and e-commerce. Now the end result uh, leads to more relevant website visitors, better conversions on your website, which equals more revenue for your business. So what we did for today's webinar, um, you know, we're looking at 15 different strategies. We don't wanna get that overcomplicated. So we've 
to make things simpler, we segmented, or rather we, we clustered everything into five different pillars. Now, the first pillar is how to convert more visitors to customers. In its simplest terms means, how do you get a visitor to your website to make a purchase? The second pillar that we'll be learning about is how to build trust. Building trust has a huge influence on consumer behavior, so it's extremely important. Third pillar is focused on user experience, also called UX. The fourth pillar uh, is the importance of tracking and data, and Guillermo is going to cover that topic um, because if you're not tracking your data or A-B testing, you'll have no idea how to improve or capture more customers. Um, and, and literally, like everyone, even the savviest marketers, can improve conversions. You know, it's an ongoing, infinite process. So fifth, uh, it's how to do e-commerce the right way. And Ross from Dutchie is going to share with you some valuable insights on how to do e-commerce the, the right way. So before we dive into actual strategies, let's first frame the discussion by looking at some of the top reasons your website needs to be in order. Number one, with uh, building trust and, and customer loyalty. There's so many illegal dispensaries, You know, there's tainted cannabis products. Building trust in your dispensary brand can really set you apart from the competition. Second, uh, showcasing your store, your unique brand. Uh, your brand is so important. Uh, is it, it's gonna attract the customers, the best customers who you wanna serve. So customers, they want to be educated on cannabis use. They want to be introduced to new and exciting products uh, that you can feature on your website by a blog post. Then you can share that uh, through social media. Now, number three, most dispensary websites aren't SEO or mobile friendly. From our data, 70% of all website visitors are using mobile devices or tablets. Uh, people are searching on Google for a dispensary from their phones, uh, not their desktops. Uh, you can ask Siri or Alexa, where's the nearest pot shop. Uh, if your site isn't there, is it, is it, you're not going to show up on page one of Google for your city, but uh, your competitors will. Now, where's the best place to hide a dead body? On the second page of Google. Now, number four, getting customers to your store who are ready to buy. Your website speaks volumes about your dispensary. If it's not user friendly and customers don't have a super quick way to figure out how to get to your store uh, or buy from you online, they'll bounce. Um, also, your website does all the heavy lifting uh, of making those first impressions about your brand. If you fail here, uh, they'll also bounce and they'll go to your competition. How to convert more visitors to, come up to customers. We're going to drive dive into the strategies here. First part, most important, having strong calls of uh, uh, CTAs, calls to action. So you need to incorporate CTAs everywhere possible without overdoing it. Uh, make sure you have CTAs above the fold which that means the part of, uh, of the site that you see without scrolling. Uh, you can place CTAs in other places too, but they're definitely essential above the fold. Uh, I will also show some other strategic places to place them as well. Um, now also make sure that you have a site-wide call to action. So here's an example of a website that we did for a client. Now, as you can see, the most important uh, CTA uh, to order, uh, order online, it's highly visible. Uh, the design is uncluttered, so they're focused you know, 100% uh, on, on what you're trying to get them, the action that you're trying to get them to take. There's also a clear offer here. It's home of the $99 ounce. Um, there's also the site-wide call to action, which is at the top right, and that's, you know, order online. Uh, your site-wide call to action, it should be either to drive orders or to collect mobile phone numbers uh, so you can get people in the store with, uh, with deals. So some other ideas for CTAs and other parts of your site. You can put CTAs for getting directions, so get directions, uh, text 420 to 702-555-5555 for secret deals, uh, free, join our VIP deals. Um, there's also many opportunities to place CTAs on different parts of your site. Where you place them is extremely important. Now, on your deals page, this is an example of a deals page. If you don't have one, a deals page, you definitely need one. This particular deals page shows discounts for locals, medical patients, veterans, uh, et cetera but it also has a very, very prominent uh, CTA to get people to join the list. Also, blog CTAs are great. This particular CTA drives customers to find the closest store to them since they operate in multiple states. Uh, it's a graphical one, but you can also use textual CTAs where appropriate. Uh, if you notice the color on this one, uh, it stands out. And coloration, you, you should probably test with coloration. Different colors are, are uh, can work better, uh, but you definitely want a color that stands out if it's kind of hidden or it doesn't stand out, it's not bold enough, they're not going to see it. They're not going to click on it. 
Now, the second strategy is to blog on your products, on the products that you offer. So you can do strain reviews. Uh, you can do reviews on other products. Uh, strain reviews are also a really great opportunity. And even other product reviews, they're a great opportunity for SEO um, because you can do you can do strain reviews on uh, not the most popular strains because those are going to be uh, you know those are going to be everywhere uh, or there's going to be reviews for those everywhere. So find strains that you know they don't maybe don't have many reviews on them and write about those. Also, um, it's a good opportunity on the blogs to recommend related products. Uh, you can include links to related content or products to keep visitors engaged and on your site. So here's an example of a product feature blog. Uh, so this is for absolute extracts. And then below, if you scroll down at the end of the, uh, of the article, there's a CTA uh, at ReefSite. We're proud to offer absolute extracts, full product lines. So come down and pick up some ABX at our store, skip the line and order online. So nice call to action. That could be a, a, a graphical one or it could be textual, but it's, uh, it's also contextual. It relates to what the, the blog is. Now that we've concluded this part of the webinar, we'd like to invite you to Foot Traffic's Marketing Education Series to help you grow your dispensary and crush your competition. Simply text JOIN7777 to 415-463-3540 to join for free, and you'll receive lots of free goodies, including free marketing tools, free guides and templates, and exclusive invitations to our upcoming webinars and workshops. We look forward to seeing you on the next webinar.